Hi guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Dr. Lerner's uh, protocol for me. And he, he found that I have chronic mono with a co-infection of Lyme. So he has put me on valacyclovir, aka Valtrex, one gram, four times a day for chronic fatigue, for the chronic mono. Also, doxycycline, which I have been on before. It's a lovely little drug that gives me sciatica for Lyme. Um, can you see that? Dosage, 100 milligrams, twice a day. This is one gram, four times a day. So um, keep in mind that's a kind of a lot for Valtrex. So you might have to fight with your insurance company. Totally worth it. I fought with them. Uh, they only wanted to cover 30 pills a month. I was like, I need 120. They're like, we can't do that. It's a quantity thing. Blah, blah, blah. Called them. Called uh, Dr. Lerner's office. They fought it out a little bit. I kept calling them and calling them. The insurance company. Okay, so I kept calling them, calling them. And uh, eventually I got it dropped down from $1,000 a month to $40 a month. So it's definitely worth it. And uh, the only thing is I have to go back every single week and be like, can you refill this? Um, which is like, who cares for that price, right? Who cares? $1,000? I can't afford that. So um, doxycycline isn't supposed to give you sciatica. So they're telling me that that's just a hoax. Um still pretty scary it sucks it's painful you're on your ass for a week sometimes you don't know if you... when it first happened to me I was like I'm never gonna walk again like freaking out freaking out because I couldn't walk um couldn't go into work it was a huge problem it only does it a little bit for me it's like a little bit of a sciatica like I can feel it in my back trying to pinch nerves and um but once they put me on the IV I have a feeling it's gonna get a lot worse now, let's move on to the valacyclovir. Excuse the, uh, whatever's going on a concert outside. Someone's getting nostalgic. Okay, so, um, this stuff, this fabulous pill, let me show you what these things look like. They're absolutely huge. Look at that. This is like the size of my eyeball. Huge. Huge. Okay, so this fabulous pill knocks me the fuck out. I mean, out. Like, out. Out. So, um, so chronic fatiguers, you guys are probably well aware of this. There's, um, like different levels of fatigue. There's head fatigue. There's, like, for me, I have a sugar fatigue, which is, um, it's not the same as this. There's, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, there's just different fatigues. I mean, for people that don't have chronic fatigue, they kind of just lump fatigue in as like, oh, well, you're always tired anyway. And it's just like, no, it's a different kind of fatigue, you know? Like, this fatigue I can deal with, this fatigue I can't deal with, like, this fatigue I can work on, this fatigue I can't work on. You know, by work, I mean physically work like your brain cannot function with certain types of fatigue like for me sugar is really bad like my brain stops working I'm out has to be horizontal um I did a sugar video so if you guys want to see yeah, how crazy you get on that then just watch that so this fatigue if I could describe it on the valacyclovir is kind of a drugged feeling you kind of feel like you know drugged and uh I don't know yet if I can work on it because I, I have kind of a long commute to work it's like an hour um which for me fine fatigue is fine um but I'm a little worried about falling asleep while driving on this because I already I already had to um train my body to stay up late later so that I wouldn't start crashing while I was driving because I, you know, I go to bed right away after I get home from work because it's, 
after a full day of work, if you have chronic fatigue, forget it. You are just out. There's no way you're doing anything after work. So um, for this, I would definitely be cautious. If you, if you have chronic fatigue and you start taking this, Oh, I like to say that this is only for the chronic mono. I wrote a lot about Valcite. Valcite apparently is for CMB, which I did not know. And Valtrex is for the Epstein-Barr virus, which I showed that I had. So, um, anyway, what was I talking about? I, so just be cautious. He said that it might, it might make you really tired. And he said that's a good thing. I hope so, because otherwise, what's the point, right? No, but um, I have faith. I have faith in him, because uh, I just do. I can't explain it. Um, so that's about it. If you guys have any questions about the drugs, I mean, I'm really not an expert. I just started taking them, so I can only tell you what I'm experiencing, but... If you have Lyme, almost every doctor recommends doxycycline. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you guys have questions about any of these medications, just send me a message and I'll try to answer them best I can. Okay. And I'll keep you updated, of course.